Fitch fam and happy Sunday. I'm so excited for today's guest on Neri's Kitchen. He is a father of two boys, Ethan and Casey, and has been married for seven years to his beautiful wife, Mi. He has been working as a physio rehab assistant since 2014, enjoys fishing and family outdoor activities, and you may also know him as Coach Wisnock. Please welcome Coach Wilson. Hey! Hey! What is everybody <laughs> doing today? Welcome, welcome. Como esta? As in Tagalog in the Philippines, anyways. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is making chicken sinigang, also known as sour soup with chicken. All right? But the first thing that we need to do is I'm going to take off this hat because this is going to be very <laughs> hard for me to cook. All right? So come with me. Come with me. Neri, come with okay. me. Okay. So okay. the first thing that we got to do is everybody knows about the rice cooker, right? I'm gonna teach you what Jokoi always tells at Netflix. You guys watch that show on Netflix? That's right, Jokoi. Jokoi is a good good comedian and he's always telling you how to cook it the right way. So we're gonna cook the rice and what we have here, we do there, we have rice, right? We do have rice. I always use the rice cooker and I always use um, the measurements on the rice cooker, but Coach Wilson will show us the finger way. I'm gonna show you the way that the Filipinos do it, all right? I don't know this, that way. This is, this, is, this is the way that the Filipinos do it, all right? So we're gonna measure this. This is gonna have one cup. So we're gonna get it in one cup. Oh yeah, you like that pour. There you go. <laughs> Put it in, that's one. Okay. Let's add a little bit more. Yeah, we'll do one and a half. One and a half, okay. Yeah, Cause two looks like it's gonna be a lot. I like rice, but remember carbs are good in good management. Okay. But so, not too much rice. <laughs> anyways, so we're going to go here. I'm going to bring it to you guys. We got to go right, right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to rinse the rice first. See, I'm, 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 I'm letting you guys know how to cook it, but you got to rinse it. So once you rinse it, everyone knows here's what they're going to say to you about the mothers out there. Nay, that's what they call mom. They want you to squeeze the rice want you to squeeze the rice. So when you squeeze the rice, you want to take out all that dirt, all that stuff going out, and you want to just rinse, 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 rinse all you like, everything there, then you pour out the water. And you repeat this as much as you can until you have a nice, clear, clear water, all right? So keep... Good, Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, the... <laughs> sorry about that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my names, if 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 Shelly's uh, watching, uh, and if she is watching, sorry, talk, uh, telling you that you were Ashley at that time. But Shelly, I'm getting everything going. Come on, Coach Wisnock tries his best. <laughs> so you rinse it a little bit more. I'm gonna. Until it's nice and clear. It's nice and clear. A lot of people know that there's a lot of starch in rice. So you, you just want to get out just enough starch. And usually in the olden days, back in the days, there's rocks in, in the rice. When you oh, were yeah. in the rice fields, like what I had a rice hat in the rice fields. My dad was uh, working in, a, uh, in the rice fields back then in the Philippines. So I already know when you get the ox and then you, you get yourself going there. So anyways, once that's clear, and I'm going to show you the finger way, all right? Okay, I'm going to put enough water to see what it goes. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. You see this? You see this right here? Sorry, wrong finger. You see this right here? This is my line. So I'm gonna bring it down. Watch. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna bring it up. And you just wanna know where the water is from your thumb. And you bring it down. See, that's too much water. That's too much water already. So you wanna fill it out. So does your finger touch the bottom of? Yes, your finger touch the bottom where oh, the rice is. Yes. And that's where your measurement is right there. Oh, okay. Then you figure it out, right? So yeah. you go in. A little bit of water and then we're good to go so your finger touches where the rice is and then it has to be that line yes i see yeah so like most likely where where your thumb is where my thumb is right, right here right you find out where the rice is going to mm -hmm. be at the bottom where you're going right here okay and you bring it up and once it's right there you see that line you have yes. enough water and that's perfect rice okay so after that you just want to wipe down the the bottoms here okay so that the rice cooker doesn't burn at the bottom then you place it in and then press, press it the and button. put and there we go now we leave that okay <laughs> so after that the first thing that we're going to do is we got these vegetables ready to go but i want to start with the chicken okay so so what kind of chicken are we using we're using legs and thighs anyways 
for cooking sinigang, sinigang is very, um, you know, you can use as many in watch. This is from Freshco. So I bought these all from Freshco. Very nice. You know, Freshco. So we're going to cut them off. But you can use any proteins too. You can use any proteins. You know what? Well, the best thing for these ones, they love to use shrimp. Seafood is one of the best things for these ones. But a lot of people know that uh, sinigang, uh, most likely, if you don't, if you're poor in the Philippines, chicken is the best way to do it. So where's the garbage here? Oh, garbage is just over there. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to cross contaminate. Okay, there open we that go. Up. Thank you so much. Always. So we're going to open these up, and what we're going to do is we're going to rinse them. Do you have a strainer? I do. Thank you. So we got the chicken. We got legs and thighs. I, I bought more legs and thighs because I'm thinking that Jerome's really hungry here. So we're going to think. And what we're going to do is we're going to rinse this a bit. Okay. Good. Hello, Caroline. Good morning, Caroline. So we're going to rinse this off. Oh, get the water. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put all the chicken in here. Some people don't even rinse it, but for me, you got to rinse it. I'm going to throw these out. Bang! That's right. I'm like Caesar Mela. You know, <laughs> the cooking, cooking now. So you know, I just want to give it a little wash. Just massage it. Massage rinse it, get it, it going, rinse it out. Okay. I don't know where's the soap. Is it soap here? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this out first. I'm going to soak my hand so I don't cross-contaminate anything there. Usually, when I'm on camera, I try to be myself, but, you know, with Jerome here, he makes me always smile. Jerome is actually known as DJ Sinegum. DJ Sinegum. The thing is, though, he's he's been always, uh, you know, RJ's been wanting him to cook something, but now he, just because I'm a Filipino, he's going to be saying, <laughs> okay, you're going to be the one. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to cut this into pieces, all right? So what I do is, look at this, right? I crack Oh, you crack it just like that. Just like that, so that then the skin is right, already ready so to go. Easy to cut. So you go to the table. There it is. It's right there. Cut. One, two. Easy. Like that. The ligaments are, boom, crack. That's it. Little technique that I learned from my wife. One, two. That's done. Again, crack the ligaments. Boom. See that? Very simple, very easy. You'll find it. Sometimes there's boom. I'm having a hard time with this one. Oh, I got it. There we go. See? Broken through. So you got the thighs, you got the legs. Again, we're going to crack it and keep on going. Okay. The pre preparation for this with the legs is you want to prep, prep, prep this all the time. So this is on the side, and then after that, we get the vegetables. And okay. The, so what can I do to help you then? So what I need you to do is what I need you to do is cut onions into dices. Dices? Yes. Okay. I can do that. And do I cut the whole onion? Yes. We're going to okay. use the whole onion. Oh, this is a big onion. <laughs> oh, our Filipinos love our onions, man. You're going to enjoy that. <laughs> yes. RJ did tell me that. <laughs> onions and garlic is our staple of the food. So that's what we're going to do. So, we got the drums. We're going to put the drums back here. All right. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the thighs. Um, this, these are such a big, big pieces, right? So, I want to cut where, look at that. See? This is all meat. All meat. So, once you have all meat, you can cut that in like fours or twos. So, cut to them, put it back into them. And you want to leave this with the bone if you want to leave it or not. I'm going to cut it a little bit more because. That's what I like. The kids sometimes they don't want to eat a full thigh, right? So you want to cut them into to pieces. Always keep the skin. Skin's always good. You know, some people they'll they'll clean it out a bit and take out the skin. Hey, if you want to be healthy, okay. But we're making the true sinigang way, and right, skin, Jerome? Skin adds yes. flavor too. Yeah. You need that. You need the flavor. You know, a little bit of fat is is it's not, not going to hurt, hurt your, you. No. Uh, oh. Okay, so this is in cubes. That's good. And the same thing. I need garlic diced. How much, too small. How mince. much garlic? Uh, give me uh, around five. Five cloves. Five cloves? Yeah. Okay. I, I think that's that. six because the onions cloves. is a bit, uh, there's a lot. We're going to, because this is a big pot and I brought a lot of chicken. So the chicken's going to be good. 
I also brought my own knife, guys. Done right. <laughs> <laughs> Done right, chicken baby. Thank you, Auntie. Uh, it really helps out because uh, you know some of the this is what they use for when they're cutting their chicken pieces, and it works well. So we're still doing while well, Neri's dicing me up all that stuff, and then I'm gonna teach her how to how to do the ginger, or maybe she knows how to do the ginger. The ginger? What's the ginger? Like how to peel the ginger. You know what? I I just do it the lazy way. I just I just peel it with a knife. I don't oh. use the spoon. I oh. don't do like I don't know if there's a different way. Well, I use the spoon. I use the spoon. It's, it's more. And more... I tried using the spoon. It just felt weird to me to use a spoon. Oh. But people tell me that if the you spoon use the spoon is way easier, guys. The knife <laughs> you're going like this, and, and and sometimes like you never know. You're not thinking about what you're doing, and you pick your fingers, right? So you got to be careful. You, what you're so make sure to. you pay attention. Yeah, I'm paying attention right now. <laughs> so I'm cutting the meat. And we're getting things going. Well, when this is preparations up, we're gonna start putting the, the pot and we're gonna put it in medium heat and we're gonna add some oil going into that once everything is prepped. The only thing about uh, when you're cooking sinigang is the preparation. Once everything is prepped, it just takes like around 20 minutes to cook and then we're done. So RJ wanted me to prep it and I was like, well, why don't I just like get everything ready to go so that we can just put it in? She's like, no. He's like, no, you gotta do it all. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing it all. Like these chicken could have been done already, <laughs> yeah. and I, I wouldn't have to like it cut done. this. Could have been done already <laughs> without me cutting it. You know, like right on video, not to show it, because it's already ready. That's how a lot of the cooking chefs do it, right? They have it here. It's done for you. Yeah, but no, he really wants to the whole authentic thing. So yeah. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do the whole authentic thing. It's fine with me. It's more content that he wants. So I'm like, that's fine, that's fine. If you guys know, um, I came here uh, to Canada uh, when I was, I think, five or six years old. So I'm still I'm still fluent in the, the Filipino game. Were you born in the Philippines? I was born in the Philippines, yeah. I was born in Bicol, if you guys don't know. It's the seventh area of the Philippines. And I, I live in a beach area. So like it's only 30 minutes away from swimming and everything else like that. Shout out to all my Bicolanos out there. <laughs> so that's how it is. And you said you're very fluent in Tagalog stuff? That, that I am, I am, I am, still am. And I, it's only when Jerome starts talking to me in Tagalog then we'll start talking. Like, but the thing is though, I'm also fluent in, in the English because I only came here when I was five or six years old. So and growing up here, that's what you do. You try to adapt and you grow. You grow and you get better and better. And so do you speak Tagalog to your parents? My parents speak, speak Tagalish. If you guys know about it, ABS, CBN, whatever you guys know, back in the days in the 1960s, 70s, it was fluent Tagalog. But now they call it Tagalish. Right, Jerome? Oh, yeah. a mix of English. Mix of English. And that's the, that's the newest thing now. And so all these superstars... Half breed, I call it like RJ. RJ is the new guy. You know, if he went to the Philippines right now, he's a superstar. hundred oh, percent. A superstar. Model? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Ding Dong Dantes got nothing on RJ, man. Right. Ding Dong Dantes got the nothing. He, he's artist. the ready guy. He's, yeah. he's ready. You know, you guys want that hybrid? He's right over here. You know it. Yeah, so there's a lot of actors who are, are mixed, right? So they come there and then they do their, their stuff. And like I was saying, I said, like RJ is right there at it. If you wanted to be a, a superstar in the Philippines, sure, go ahead, try it out. Anyway, so everything is done here. Chicken is done. I don't need this anymore. All right, so what else can I do? So now we're doing the preparation for the vegetables. We need to rinse the vegetables. The chicken will be on the side. I just want it to be right here. I'm gonna get some soap. Guys, always wash your hands when you're dealing with meat. Cross contamination is not good. You get an upset stomach, so <laughs> try your best, okay? All right. So now we're gonna rinse the vegetables. Okay. So what we do is we'll get the vegetables. We have another knife though for the vegetables. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. So we got broccoli right here. We got. I'm just gonna put them all in, all in one. Okra. Sayote. All right. And so what is sayote? Sayote is just a squash, okay? It's just squash. You know, you got the big squash. These are the small squash. They're a little bit more, uh, 
almost similar to eggplant. I wouldn't say it's similar, but like the only thing is that when you when you eat this, it's almost like eating a pear. Oh, okay, because it looks like a fruit. I know, but it's not. It's not. It's almost like a pear, but once you start cooking this thing, it's so good. Yes. Uh, you'll, you'll love it. And then we got the tomatoes, right? And we also got the ginger. The ginger, we, we should, uh, I'm going to show you how he's, how he's going to do it. So we're going to clean this up right now. I need just a spoon. Just a spoon? All yeah. right. We can put this on the side right now. Okay. So here's your spoon. And we'll put, can we put this on the side? Okay. We'll put it on the side? Yeah. I just need a, another, you know. Yeah, oh, okay. Another, got it. More cutting boards. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Right. So right here, she has the knife. I'm going to just take out the ones that I don't really need. You know, this is pretty much not the ones that I want. Just a little bits of that. Okay, guys, so look at this. Oh, that's fast. <laughs> so when I'm cooking, I always try to get these things off. A lot of people don't like the skin. You can cook it with the skin or not, but I'm just getting it ready and prepared so everything goes to go. See, look at that. A spoon only, baby. And that way you can get through the little crevices. Too. Yes, that's correct. So you like, save more of the ginger. Yes, and a lot of people don't understand that. When you're doing with a knife, you cut a lot of stuff. This one, you're just scraping off. You're scraping off the skin. Melinda says hi, Melinda Muscles. Hey, Melinda, how's it going? Good morning, Melinda. Tagalish? Como esta? As we say it in the Philippines, mabuhay, as we say, right? What does mabuhay mean? True. What's mabuhay? Is that hello? That's hello. Oh, it is? Okay. He doesn't know. He no, should know. To me, it's like more like welcome. Welcome. Yeah, yes, mabuhay. Welcome. welcome. Hello. So it's like yeah, greeting. Yeah, it's like aloha. Yeah, it's like a hola. Look at that, guys. Clean. All right? So once we've done that, we're just going to put them. I'm going to put this on the side. Get the knife right here. Ginger. Yeah, ginger, you can eat this by itself. See, Jerome is right here. He knows that I do the same thing. So it's like nice and cut. You don't want it to be, you want it to eat it. Some people like to eat it, and I, I like cutting it in, in these kind of styles. So. You know, I like matchsticks too. When I eat ginger, I like that nice spicy crunch. Yep, it just yep. hits you. Right. Now we're rinsing the vegetables. That's yes, great. the bok choy. Everything has to be rinsed, guys. Yes, make sure your foods are nice and clean. Okay, so now we got the ginger. We can put this beside it because these are all the, the flavors for everything that we need to do. Boom, boom, pow. Look at that, guys. This is set up, ready to go. Now we have to cut the vegetables. So with the tomatoes, I always try to like to cut it. With ginger, vegetables, all this stuff is still okay. So with the tomatoes, you want to cut it. Cut it mostly like that. Take off the sides. Usually take that. I want to use all the tomatoes anyways, but like sometimes people don't like to use the stem. I'm just gonna do it like this. What we're gonna do is just gonna cut it in this. That's it. We're gonna use that later. That's for flavoring. Okay? For the sour soup. Okay, that's done on the side. That's good. And then the okras are good. Okra, you don't, good. okra, you don't really, you just need to rinse it, okay? We're just going to put it in and everything else. You, I don't need oh. to cut this unless you guys want me to cut them in, in, in pieces. It's up to you. Do you normally cut it? If you don't cut no, it, No, I don't really cut it because I like when I can take it and then just eat it. Oh, so that, okay. But the bok choy and everything else needs to be cut. So like for this one right here, I would take this thing. And what I do is... We're gonna see how much we can we can take. I'm not gonna to take too much. And usually, what I do is cut right here to the bottom. You don't really need to use this. Oh. <laughs> Wrong one. Wrong one. See, boom, pow. So I'm gonna take as much as I I, I want. I'm, I'm probably gonna use it with the pot. Not too. These things we're gonna use that much. That's enough. And then this is what you guys are gonna do. Okay, look at this. You want to cut them in half. So big chunks, pretty big much. Big chunks because this is going to be the the flavor as well and also like the, the nutrients. So it's like almost your salad, right? Bang. Boom. Kapow. There you guys go. 
What up, bro? How's it going, man? Is that your brother? Yeah, that's my brother. Hello, Jason. I'm glad that you're coming. I'm <laughs> cooking chicken sinigang. So, anyways, you don't need this as well. Right, so we got bok choy as well. And we're, what we're going to do is the same thing. This is enough for the bok choy. Uh, yes, because I only took like a small one. There's a okay. bigger bok choy is coming. So, like I said, just cut them nicely. There we go. Huh? 42 people watching? Wow, 42. 47. Oh, wow. Ask them to share. Yeah, share this, guys. Share this, like it, post like, it comment, up. comment, share. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. Yes. Yeah, if, uh, sooner or later, this thing is going to be on YouTube. Okay, so the vegetables, the greens are good. Okay. Now we sell the same thing. We got more. We got broccoli right here. These are all fillers. That's why I was telling RJ, this takes a while, man. Like, <laughs> Just cutting these pieces, like I love the stems. You can still use the stems. I love the stems, stems too. So like you can cut them in these ways, but I'll cut them in a smaller way so that they're they're more easier to eat. So the kids love the stems too. Well, if it has have, that texture also. Yeah, it gives that nice, what do they call it? Um, a nice bite. Yes, bite that's correct. Crunch. Yeah. And so you just put it right there. Everything here is all going to be in the pot, right? Just trust me. You guys are going to love it. Once you get down there, it starts the uh, oil. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So what can I do? If you can do is uh, put it on medium heat. Okay. And then start putting the oil in there. Okay. You need just only like a tablespoon. Tablespoon of oil? Yeah. And I'm just using olive oil, but you can use canola oil, any other vegetable, vegetable oil. oil. Any, any oil that you guys want to do. Okay. Coconut. There's coconut oil. You can also use, oh, there's a lot of oils out there. <laughs> and can I put the chicken in also? Not yet. Not yet? No, 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 no. Do not put the chicken in. The first thing that you're going to put in is the onions. Oh, onions first. Yes, and then after that, the garlic. And then you put the chicken. And then you put the ginger. Oh, okay. okay? Good thing so I the, asked. Yes, do not. You have to put it in that way. So okay. what you want to do is when you put in the onions, you want to yes. caramelize a little bit, a little darken, and then put the garlic in there and caramelize. Then you add the chicken in. <laughs> And then the ginger is the last one. I okay. also need you to do is, uh, what is it? Sorry about that, Mary. But so onion, yes, garlic, yes, and then, and then ginger, ginger, and then chicken. Let it cook, and yeah. then the chicken. That is correct. Got it. You got it. <laughs> See? It's a good thing I have an assistant. My sous chef yes, is here. Yes, yes. Thank you, sous chef. Okay, so I have my onion. Let that cook for a little bit. It's just on medium heat. And I'm just going to wait a bit. You can also put it on high. If you on want high? It, yeah. Put it okay. on high so that it goes quicker. I always put a medium because, you know, you get the oil starting to go. Okay. So I have this on very high heat. Let that cook. And then how long do I let it cook for? Just until it has a little bit of golden brown onto it. Oh, and then I after see. that, and then you put the garlic, all right? Okay. And so, Wilson, how often do you make sinigang? I make it a lot. I a mean, lot? like, the, yeah, I make it a lot. But the thing is, though, I, I it's one of my uh, steps of uh, like uh, healthy eating, because you can make it a healthy, healthy meal if you wanted to try it out. But the problem for me is, though, RJ said do the real thing. So I said, okay, I'll do the real thing. But technically, you know, you can swap out the uh, legs and thighs for chicken breast. You can also swap out the the sinigang uh, mix. You can mix it with something else. You can use the a little bit of the, the vinegar, a little bit of fish sauce, and then just mix it all into that. And you'll make your sour sauce with the tomato. And that's how you do it. It's a little bit more healthier because in the package, sometimes the package has so many different things that you don't know what's in there. But you know what? We're going to try and do it anyways, right? So. And so, Wilson, where can you find the package? You can buy it at any local Asian market. If you guys are here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, there's Lucky Market, there's Supermarket, there's Fresh Co. There's so many of it. Superstore, Superstore they have it. In certain areas, even sometimes uh, like uh, areas like Costco. It all depends on what yeah, the area is. The store, the seafood oh, seafood, oh seafood, seafood City as well. City. Sorry about that, Garden City area. Seafood City. Um, no, I'm sorry. I don't go there as much, but whatever, we're going to do it. How's it looking? I think it's okay. I think maybe just another minute. Yeah. Okay, another minute. All right. I've okay. never actually well, been to Seafood City. Oh, oh Seafood City is packed. Do you have a, a, a pot, a kettle? A kettle? Yes. Yes, I do have a kettle. All right. Let me do this while you put... Can you just uh, boil me water? Sure. That's great. Okay. 
So while the onions are sauteing, guys, look at this. Mmm, this smells so good. You smell that onions. So this is already good, right to go. Now you want to add the ginger. I mean, sorry, the garlic. The ginger is later. There you go. And you want to mix it, right? Make that cook. And there he's boiling me water because the water is what it's going to be cooking. What we're going to do is we're going to saute the chicken with the onions and the garlic. How much water would you need? Uh, just enough. I, 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 technically, guys, I don't measure, but, but it's two cups. Oh, two, two cups. cups. Good thing yeah. I asked. It all has to cover for the chicken that we have at hand. So the more chicken it is, it always has to cover the flow of it, okay? Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay. So that's perfect to go. I'm going to put this right here. Here's the chicken. Oh, I see if I can not get this dripped at all. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. Thank you. So I'm going to bring this. Here we go. That's the chicken. That goes in. And all you want to do is you want to stir, okay? We have a lid for this too, right? Yes, right? over here. So once we stir it a little bit, we got to stir this, guys. We have a lot of chicken in here. Jerome is going to be so hungry. I'm going to be so hungry. You know what? I haven't even eaten yet, and we did a workout. For everybody who came there on Sunday, on Corridor, West Side, guys, you did great. Thank you so much for me and Hugo, the boss. We did it our best to work out. RJ was there, so we're cooking it well. All right. So, once that is in, here it is, guys. The ginger. Look at that. So nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Already Jerome's feeling the, that he wants to eat so much. So, once you put the ginger in, you want to mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it in and out. Now, what you want to do, once it's there, you want to put a lid. A lid? Okay. Yeah, lid on top. And you leave it. And this heat is okay, medium high? Medium high is medium good. High? We're just making it cook for around five to 10 minutes until it starts to get a little bit of heat. Got it. Once the heat is good, I'm gonna stir it again. Now, for you guys, we got the vegetables here. See, that's what I'm telling to you guys. This is gonna be easy peasy. It's gonna be done soon. And then all of a sudden, you guys are gonna enjoy seeing it gone. Look at this. The rice is already ready. Look at this. And I fluffed it too. Look at that. And look how perfect it is. Isn't that perfect? perfect. My God, that's my style, Filipino finger style. Watch <laughs> Netflix, Jokoi, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. That's the best way to do it. And we got the nice salad that's going on. The problem is right now, we're just waiting, and it's a waiting game right now. Sayote, look at this. It almost looks like a pear. And so can you eat this raw? You can, you can. You can try it, see how I like it. It's a little bit different. I've never tried it. I don't think I have. What do you think? <laughs> Can you eat it raw? Oh, yeah. Oh, you can yeah. eat it raw. You know what? It tastes very refreshing. It has a it's, nice, it's, light, it's, I crispy I told you, it's texture. a squash. Squash, you can eat anything. You know, vegetables are very thin. But it's a good way. I told you, it's almost Try similar to a pear. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Look. It tastes kind of like a cucumber. Mm, yeah. There you go. So, mm. I, like I said, something refreshing, something different. Try it. You can you can almost eat this with um, salt and that chili That is correct. Peppers. That is correct. Yeah. Some people do it. But... Jerome never does it because he always wants he always wants to cook it in like a sinigang or a broth, which is fine. I understand. It's okay. But remember, always try try something new, right, Neri? Exactly. Always try something new. So we're gonna take a look at the chicken. You hear that? You just want to stir it up. It's still not cooking yet because we do have a full pot. It's gonna be great. We want this to be brown, a little bit brown, okay? And it's not there yet, but that's why it takes a while. But you see that, how this thing is going like this, the color? Yes. That's what you want. That's a little bit of that, and then we're good to go. Because you want to marinate. This is called marinating. Right. Mm -hmm. You want the flavors to... And you didn't add any salt or anything. I do not like nope. adding salt because technically the sinigang powder well, the has, has everything it. already. Now, if you are one of those people who want to add a little bit of salt, add a little of pepper, go ahead. In the end, your taste, your yeah. flavor. <laughs> All right? So it doesn't matter for me. But the thing is, though, I never add salt. I see. Okay. Yeah. I like already what it is already, mm -hmm. and you only need that powder. Okay, so this is almost there. It's almost there? Okay. Yeah, a few, a few more minutes. You know, I'm going to just increase it. Just yes, a increase tad. it a little bit more. Yeah, let's put it at number eight. Number eight will work well. Okay. So, water's boiling? That's water's boiling. 
How much time do we have, Drew? Oh, we have lots of time. Oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. I I was like I do have also a dessert, but the thing is though, we'll wait until this thing is cooked. How long will the dessert take? 35 seconds. 35 seconds? 35 seconds. A nice lava cake protein ice cream. And all you need is a protein. Chocolate protein is what I'm thinking about. A nice, good vanilla ice cream. Any ice cream that you like, but I did buy a low-calorie ice cream for all you guys there who loves nutrition, all you guys there who want to have that low-calorie, good carbs. Guilt-free. Yeah, guilt-free. Go ahead. And then after that, if you want... Just a little extra. Just a little extra, right, Neri? Add a little Nutella. Right? A little, oh, a little, a little something, something. A little something, something. <laughs> just to kick it up a notch. But that's later. That's later. Right? After we cook the food. So where did you get your rice hat from? Rice hat was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. where did you get <laughs> so this from? The rice hat was given to me by a friend of mine who went... Uh, this is not a Filipino one. This one That is looks the, like a Vietnamese one. It is yeah. correct. This is the Vietnamese one. The Filipino one, one is a little bit different. So one of my friends went to Vietnam and he was the one who said to me, hey, would you like one of these ones? And I said, sure, why not? And that's where I got this. So the Vietnamese rice hat, one of the best ways to have it, okay? The yes. Filipino rice hat is a little bit different. It's more of a straw -y, very, very, it's not as as dense or like like well, this. It's not as pointy, I think, No, right? and it's also uh, loose, oh, way loose. more looser. It's not oh. like how it's woven like that. It's mm -hmm. really loose. So okay. the bamboo style is different. So that's what it is. Okay, let's take a look at our chicken. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Now we're gonna stir it. See that sizzling? Is the boiling water done? You know, I think it's still taking just a little bit of time. And that's fine. I just think I added it... too much water. That's okay. That's give okay. it a few more minutes. I'm just stirring it up. Okay. It's a liter of water. It'll be done. Okay. Don't. Plenty Don't of rush time. It. Plenty <laughs> of time. But what we can do is start getting with the dessert and showing okay. what we're gonna be using. So, look at this, guys. This is all you need. Mm. You need your protein. Any type of protein is you like. You need your, look at that. I even brought mine just in case, but there he has it. You need baking powder. You need measurements. Measurements. Bingo, you see these? This is what you need, measurements. You also need the um, a measuring cup, I think. Uh, I need one-fourth of almond milk. That's all I need. Almond milk! You see that? Perfect. These are the ingredients that you want. Bingo. See that? One-fourth. I do this every night. This is my <laughs> favorite, favorite thing to have. And where's that Nutella? Oh, Nutella. Okay. My Nutella is very small. That's fine. Nutella is small. Uh, oh, I don't uh -oh. know where my... Uh -oh. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, where's my Nutella? RJ took it. No, no. Look at that. <laughs> and Nutella. These are all the ingredients that you just need to make this lava cake. Wait, I forgot also. Look at that. 80 calories, baby. What kind of container do you need? I just need a microwavable container. Okay. Uh, any, if, if, if there's a nice glass one, that'd be nice. I was going to bring mine and stuff. Okay. But, well, so here's a small one. Bingo. That's all I need. This is it. This is enough for what we're making for just one. Okay, so single serving. Single serving, okay? I'm not making a big serving. I'm not making you guys a big ass cake here, all right? This is for you, for your treat only, right, Neri? Yes. This is a treat for you. Portion I, control. That is Portion correct. Control. So remember, the protein's good. Uh, probably 28 grams of protein. Almond already, you got around mm, one cup is 250, so you don't need to worry. It's only 30 calories. So we're, we're getting ready to go. Check out the chicken. Look at that. You smell that? I do. I smell the ginger. Oh, yeah. Now, the thing about this chicken, though, is like what you want is the flavoring from the chicken. So you're already having that chicken broth right. going in. The extra ingredient that we need to put is boiling hot water so that we can cover it and start adding the vegetables. I see. Okay. Okay. So once the vegetables go in, it's like done. Done? Okay. Done like butter. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the tomatoes. You know what I'm saying. And then after that, the sinigang powder. You know what I'm saying. And then after that, we start putting all the vegetables in. So we got two different types. So the sinigang powder is tamarind mix. Yes. Okay, so that that's what makes it very sour. That is correct. You What you got there, Neri, is the hot 
pouch. Oh, right? the hot one. The hot one. It says hot, baby. Hot. Oh, I see. see it? Hot. Hot. It already has the chili into it. But we're not using that. We're using the regular because we already have oh, the, the hot. These are way more better. Okay. Oh, the boiling water is almost there. Oh, see the chicken. Oh, water's perfect. Done. So, where can I put this? Right, I'll hold it. Okay. So you get the water. I'll take, take this off. And what you want to do is you want to fill it so it's covered. And so, do you have to have boiling water, or can you can, you, can you just add water in the pot? Well, the thing is, like, we're, you can add water, like cold water, right. but I like hot water already because we, we need to speed up the cooking. Got it. So, I like, see. if you put cold water already into this, yes. then it's not, it's, it's going to slow down the process of cooking. So, always have the hot water ready to go. If you're a quick person like me, 30 minutes of a cooking is all you need. See, right there? Perfect. Now, what you want to do is, well, where's my spoon again? Oh, there. Right here. Yeah, so you stir it a little bit. I want that boiling to go. Now, you get the tomatoes. Okay, I'll bring that here. Bring, yep. Don't put the chili yet. Right, right. Don't put the chili yet. So you want to add the tomatoes. This is good enough. One, two, three. These things are going to melt in, okay? So with the boiling for, we got, we're going to use it all. Like that. And then once you do, is you get the sinigang powder. We're going to cut this up. We're going to get a knife, cut it. Or a scissor. I'll cut it right here. Okay. So everyone's going to be asking me, like, how much you have to put. The thing is, though, it I do taste tests, okay? So for me, I'm going to put half of it, half of this, half of it, half of that, okay? Because so start we, off with half first. First half, okay. because if you put all of it in, yeah. it will be too sour. And you already got the tomatoes already. Right, that will make right. it more sour. So you do half of it or this. Boom. That's half, right? Because I still have half. So... I don't have to measure it, just half of that package. And what you want to do, you want to let this cook and the tomatoes to just be a little bit like cooked in right. a bit so that it's a little bit... Melt into the sauce. That is the correct. Soup. The okay. soup. So you can smell them. You'll start smelling. And then we put the lid on. Jerome's already getting hot. <laughs> it's hot oh, on no, fire right it's now. Hot. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. Let's go. <laughs> so... While that's happening, Jerome, the time's good? Okay. We're still good? All right. So, it's now the waiting game. Why don't we but start uh, Making the, this. Yes. the dessert? Okay, so let's make the dessert. This is very simple for me. I love making this. So, you got a microwave, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So, what you need is one scoop. Which one is the real scoop of protein powder for this guy? This right here. There's two scoopers in here. So the big one, the big plastic one. This one, right? Yeah. No, yeah. no, the other one. Okay, because I don't the know large why. One. why is there two scoops <laughs> in here. Know. RJ must be measuring <laughs> enough, but okay, this is... That's the real scoop. Okay, so one scoop of this is how many grams I of protein? I think it's 27 grams. Oh, 26 20, grams. Okay, so 26 grams of protein and two grams of sugar of 140 calories right here. So Power Way Compass, where do you get this? Man? That's from Gorilla Jack. So Gorilla Jack, if you guys know Gorilla Jack is on the main area, support them, all right? Gorilla Jack. Barry and Marty are wonderful. All right, so we put that in there. I put back that lid. All I need that, where is the lid for this? I'm usually one of those guys who wants to close everything, you know, get it nice and neat. Okay, after that, one fourth of almond milk. Do you have to use almond milk or can you use any milk? Um, I like using almond milk. You can use anything. I just, I'm lactose intolerant. So the thing is though, I always have almond on me all the time. If you want to use regular milk, 2% milk, homo milk, Do it. go away. <laughs> There's no problem with me. So you want one fourth of this. There you go. Put it in there. Look at that. And I'm going to put it, can I put it yeah, in there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, and then right here, you need one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. So this is my dessert treat that I love, okay? Now you mix it. Check to see how that, uh, how is that going in it's there? It's boiling. Okay, lower the heat lower a bit the heat. in mid, because the vegetables are coming in. 
Okay, I put it at a six, is that okay? Six is fine. So look at this. The protein's ready to go. We got it mixed up. All right, so now we're gonna put this in the microwave for 35 seconds. Depending on your uh, microwave. <laughs> Don't waste any so of it. <laughs> no, so 35 seconds, that thing is gonna rise. And once that rise, you're gonna have a lava cake. And it's gonna be so good. Because the chocolate is so good. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Well, anyways, I'm gonna, man. Every time that I have to find, like, I'm I, in my kitchen, I always like try to, we always have somewhere to place our stuff so that we don't uh, cross contaminate. Cross -contaminate. Sorry, guys. So I'm just gonna put it right here for now. 10 seconds is going. I'm gonna take a look at our vegetables here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Come back here, Jerome. I gotta show you. So the tomatoes, perfect timing for that. And look at that. We also have the protein. Look at that. Oh. And that oh, is dessert. That is dessert. But we're not even done yet. We're gonna have the, we're gonna add the ice cream on that and Nutella after. But while we're here, let's put the vegetables, guys. It's a big pot. So what you want to try to do is like the ciotes goes first, because they take a little bit hard time. Get it in there. Try to get okra. Probably not gonna use too much of these because the ones that you want. I think we can all put it all in there. The Jerome style is just put it all in there just already. Put it all just in put there. it all in there already. Even the okra, man. Yeah, I everything all in there. there. Yeah. So what happens to this is like the vegetables, like I don't know, it's a big pot. Hopefully it's good enough. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Okay. Okay. And let's cover lot. it up. Yeah, cover it up and wait until it goes down. There you go. It's going to cook a little bit. Now let's go back to the dessert because, yes. So look at this. This is the called the lava cake. I'm going to get Neri to try it out because it's really good. Oh, you want me to try it out? Okay. Well, if you like it, you got to try it out, okay? <laughs> so the, it, anything that you like, like we have ice cream. I just took this at Fresh Co. They have this 80-calorie ice cream. Like You can use any type of ice cream that you like, but... I was told by RJ to find something that's like low calories for ice cream. <laughs> because, you know, some people, come on, we still being fit, right? Fit club. We got to follow the red, oh, I know. the ice cream thing. Look at that. I would go for vanilla. I just wanted to get calories. Uh, you want to put a spoon in? Oh, of ice cream in? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I already cross-contaminated with this while I was eating it in my mouth. Okay. So... There we go. Okay, so after that, with the Nutella, you can also put it as well. So this is a bonus if you want it Nutella. Yes, this is a bonus. There you go. Oh. On, oh. 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 <laughs> so try it out. See try how you out? like it. Okay. I'm just going to try the cake. First, with right. the ice cream. Yeah. It's just protein. Just only protein. It's chocolate mm. protein. And then you add the ice cream into it. Mm -hmm. It has a bit different flavor with that Nutella mixed with it. It does taste like cake. Yep. And that's my dessert mm. every freaking night. Every night. Every night. Because if I need a little bit of a 200 calories or, or a little bit of fat into me or stuff like that, come on, guys. You guys need to know. This is what I finish off at nighttime. This is my favorite thing to have. Vanilla. One scoop of protein, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. You're right. A quarter cup of almond milk. Yep. Microwave for 35 seconds, and that's, that's it. Bam. There you go. There you guys go. Wow. wow. That's it. Simple, huh? Mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, love it. I love I've it. tried this dessert too, but I put in an egg. But if I don't have to put in an egg, I won't. Have to put in egg. Because it's just more calories. Yeah. So the egg thing is like, um, you guys can find this recipe on YouTube. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite recipes to do. I really don't want the eggs or anything like that. I just like to eat it. I will eat that. Just the protein. Just the protein. Need. All you need. You don't need to add that much. So let's go back to the vegetables. Just gonna have to put it down a bit. This is almost done. All we're gonna do right now is just to cook the vegetables and then everything is done. And then Jerome can have his chicken tinigan. I'm then gonna plate it, but right now the vegetables need a little bit more time. Six is good. I'm just trying to put it down. Sour soup. I'm also gonna have to taste test to see if the if it's good enough for the sour soup. Okay, let's get a spoon. Let's taste yeah. it. 
while this is going in, we're going to add these in. <gasps> You're going to add it whole? Yes. That's how you add it? That's how you yeah. add it. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's how, oh, no, no. You don't have to eat it. Yeah, it's just yeah. only oh, for just flavoring. Oh, just for flavoring. Yeah, okay. just for flavoring. So we'll wait for this to flavor up. Uh, the spoon will be ready to taste okay. later. Make, but, make sure you don't break that. No, I'm not going to break it. Yeah, don't it. break And don't mistake it for the okra. <laughs> no, no, no. So that's it. We're going to put it down. This thing's almost done, guys. Okay, let's just increase it just a little increase bit. Increase the heat. Yeah. When this is done, we already have, we made the dessert, right? Just eat that. We're going to start plating, guys, because this thing is going to take just another five more minutes. And then after that, we're going to start plating. So these are extra vegetables that, you know, we can use later on, or Mary can use later on, to make another sinigang, because I already showed her how to make sinigang. So that's going to be good. How do we normally serve this? So we serve it, well. In a bowl or a plate? In a, in a bowl. OK. This is perfect, right yeah. here. And what a lot of people do with their rice, because you give it a few minutes for yeah. this time. But what they do is they'll have this, and they pour it in like that. And then they'll have their spoon. And then they'll have one cup of rice Got like it. that. So we're going to do one cup of rice. So not this kind not, of, not this we bowl? need the, a plate. Oh, a plate. Not a bowl. Oh, yes. Okay. That's it. A small plate, not a large plate. Okay, <laughs> look at this. This is what you need, okay? Technically, this is Jerome's piece right here, okay? <laughs> so he would rather have a big big pot. So I'm going to make, uh, you have a one, uh, one cup of measuring? Measuring cup for one cup? Let's do a half cup. Oh, half cup, okay. You can half, do it twice. Half cup, yeah, I can do it twice. So... You get the rice. This is almost going to be done. Sorry. Okay. We're just waiting until the vegetables are cooked. So just move it in and out. I'm going to taste the flavoring. So here we go. Look at this. I'm going to try to make it for Pampanga style, you guys. You guys go Pampanga. You know, they have the nice breakfast. Five nine, I think it's five bucks, right? I think it's five bucks, yes. Five bucks. Filipino five breakfast. Bucks, Filipino breakfast. So I'm going to put it like this. Keep it like that for now. The rice is ready to go. I'm going to try and see how this is going. Look at that. I'm going to taste the flavor of this. So you got to take it. Guys, don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. So we're going to try to see how sour this is and if we need to add a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just more. more. Just, it's just not sour more. enough. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, see what I mean? Neri's already I've never really it. had this, but it needs to be more sour. That's just correct. A tad. Just a tad. <laughs> There. Now we're going to mix it. Now, but you can tell the, the, the sourness of that. Yes. You want it a bit sour. Mm -hmm. Mary's going to mix it up. So maybe just another minute or so? A few minutes. A few more minutes? Some, we need to cook it a little bit more. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Look at the chicken. Look at that. It's already cooked in there because it's boiled. And you've got the chicken broth going in there. Plus with all that vegetables. You guys are ready. You guys want this? This is what I want. It's so good. Okay. So give that a few more minutes. And then after that, we're going to start plating. Perfect. And then we were done the chicken sinigang with the ice cream, lava cake, dessert, protein. And that'll be great. So we're going to just prep it up so shortly. And for our viewers, if you've made sinigang before, let us know how you make it in the comments below. All right, that's that's good. That's going to boil off. Uh, let's put the temp a little bit down. This thing. Go down? Yeah, okay. because it's starting to. Okay. There we go. I put it okay. at seven. All right, where is, this is my spoon. I'll try it again. You have pepper? Pepper, yes. yes. Black or There red? it is, black pepper. Black, okay. Perfect. Perfect? Right there. You've got the sourness and everything else. So, woo, you got to try that. That's really good. <laughs> okay, but we'll get add the peppers. Pepper, okay? You guys like pepper? I like pepper. Just for the actual flavor, a little bit. All right, guys, so we're just going to give it another just 30 seconds just to get it going. Look at that. Oh, okay. Look at that. Look at all the vegetables. Look at that. So give that a few minutes more. And once we're done, we're going to plate it because we got already the rice and we got the bowl. So I'm just counting. Bam, bam, bam. You know, while, while everything is happening like this, a lot of people, what they would be doing right now is just putting away... Cleaning all the sinks, getting all the stuff away. Cause you don't need this anymore, okay? You don't need it anymore, okay? Mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna enjoy this. Yeah, just enjoy it. You yeah. know what? I think, I think Kai would like some too. Kai, would you like it? Kai, try just it out. he came to join us. Yeah, try it. Here, Kai. Oh, let's see. Maybe the ice cream part. Oh, oh, oh. no, no, no. Oh. Who doesn't so want ice cream? Mm. Mm. I like it. I can't believe that's only 80 calories. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, 25 viewers. Okay. Do you mm. have Do you have any comments? Anybody have comments for me? Any questions? Mm. Let us know. While I'm eating my dessert, I should be eating soon. <laughs> but I worked out. I deserve this. <laughs> hey guys, Sinigang's done. Look at this. Well, we're gonna just gonna lower the heat. You can tell already that the vegetables are cooking. You can see how the broccolis are going and everything else. The bok choy. If you want a little bit of a crunch, that's up to you. A lot of people, it depends on what your vegetable uh, perfection is on what you want. If you want it crunchy, then cook it uh, less. If you want it more of a soup-based kind of style and more different, then it's okay. All right, so what you want to do is, like, you know, you want to get your, see, your legs. I think I've had it both ways. I've had it crunchy and I've had it very tender. Yes. But keep in mind, this was probably 10 years ago. Oh. I so I see. haven't had it in a long time. Oh, that's good. Now you're going to have it again. <laughs> Everyone has to each his own. Every region of the Philippines have a different sinigang style, okay? So all you Filipinos out there, if you're saying that this is not the style for you, I understand. But everybody has their own style. Okay? Well, let us know in the comments yeah, your style. Yeah, let us know what your style is. So I'm just going to prep it a little bit, just to make it nice for you guys. Look at that broth. Look at that thighs. There we go. Oh, I got some of that meat. Oh, I'm getting hungry, Jerome. It's getting oh, hot God. in here. Okay, let's bring it over here. So, now, what we're going to do is, the best way to do it, is you have a fork and, and spoon. Oh, fork and spoon? <laughs> Filipino way, guys. Fork and spoon. Okay. And what they do is they, they add this uh, the sinigang broth. Soup broth? Yeah. Onto the rice. Yeah. Okay. They just add it on, and then they also get their chicken. Get your chicken. Okay. Yeah. So I'll get a small piece yeah. of chicken. That one's already just the meat. And then after that, once you take, uh, you took even vegetables a little okay, bit. Okay. So then I'll take the small. This. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then you just take it. And you just go ahead, try it out. Try it with the chicken, with the rice. Chicken and rice always together with the sinigang broth. Okay. Now, how do you think, Mary? Mmm. Very comforting. It's a, com a it's a comfort mm. food. I'm telling you guys right now, sinigang, if you have a hangover, this is the best way, okay? Jerome knows that. <laughs> this is the best way. So, as like I said, sinigang and lava. Dessert protein cake. Ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much, Coach Wilson, for joining me oh, on Nary's welcome. Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you, guys. Salamat. Thank you. Mabuhay. See you guys next week. Bye now. <laughs>